Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Another episode of Mini DV. Just glitching out like you know what. Um, so here we go. This is the camera. Give it a second. Boom. There's no audio. Is it the player? Is it the head? Is it, you know. I've already got a heads up with this job, so what you have to do if you get in this pixelation, blue screen, all that kind of stuff. These tapes are all magnetic, you know, tape binders are all crap. Um, this has already been done poorly by Costco, hence the barcode. Got a red sticker on it. Customers told me, um, you know, there are issues. So what you have to do, a couple different things, is put in, I mean, this is, you know, head cleaner just a basic you know kind of first step just put it in there run it for about 10 seconds you might have to run it multiple times over um could be the player could be that so the thing is all of these tapes are just dumping oxide magnetic oxide uh, on the heads constantly it could be a problem with the camcorder back in the day you know, if you dropped it, the kids dropped it back in Disneyland in 2005. You know, you don't remember what you had for breakfast yesterday, let alone uh, what happened 20 years ago, um, or usually not within your supervision. Um, so I'm putting that same tape back in. Are the art supplies? There we go. Oh, for God's sake. Ugh. God forbid these damn tapes get stuck. Uh, now the tape, now the play, come on. <sighs> come on. Okay. Oh, it's just, it's the power cord. Yeah, power cord's good. What is going on now? It's a new issue. It's the thing. All these tapes, if they're bad, they can wreck the players. God forbid, as I was just about to say, if this tape gets stuck inside of this thing, that's a half-hour job. Okay, it's running clear now. But then again, look, what's this? It's going again. Yeah. Got blue screen. There we go. We're back to square one again. So, could it be the tape? Could it be the player? This is where I say over and over again if you're doing this yourself, you're going to need about five players to cross reference against uh, everything here. So, hold on. Let me just uh, check this one. What I'm looking for is the bars. Oh, look, there it is. Oh. You know, and if you are a company, you got to be checking all this stuff. And just a real quick recap of usually what I said. Everyone's like, oh, you're using like Elgato. You should be doing this and that and the other. Go to my other videos. Don't make any snide comments. Uh, they will be deleted. You will be blocked. I've gone over this again and again. You know, this is all about time and efficiency. Yes, there are multiple ways to digitize all this footage. But quick, efficient, stable software to compete and be time efficient and therefore cost efficient because everyone's just getting lured into this crap fit. Now look. <sighs> okay, same thing. So there is an inherent problem with this tape. Um, what I'm gonna, and also if the counter isn't reading, it's not picking up a signal. So this tape is probably deposited Oxide on the heads, I've got to clean now this one, I've got to clean the other one. Just putting one tape in can completely clog the heads of others. A tape cleaner might clean it, otherwise you've got to take all the sides off, the tiny little screws, really get in there, clean it with some acetone multiple times over. Well, hello, buddy. What's up, dude? Um, yeah. And then, you know, I bake them. You've got to put them, you, I'm baking tapes more and more now 
in a food dehydrator for mm, six to eight hours at 140, 150 degrees. This is Winston. Winsty, have you got, there's your toy. There's your ball. All right, there you go. So um, another thing you can do is that's fast forward and rewind in. It's just one little additional trick that I take. And also this um, was playing a previous tape absolutely fine. So uh, let's have a look. I'm giving the cleaning head, giving this like five to 10 seconds again. This one here with a red sticker has a problem. Uh, this one here has a problem. Uh, it's just nonstop problems. As I say, I've been doing this since 2002. And, you know, up until I've seen, A, every evolution of company out there and dev devolution. Um, but I've just seen such a massive prob difference in the issues with problems in the past five plus years ish by around about that well you just can't you can't just hit play and walk away with this stuff uh the shelf life of this stuff is well very well documented on google uh you know wikipedia etc we've been told this day is coming um and uh you know we're here um these tape binders uh made of you know oil-based synthetic materials um they attract moisture, whether you've got them stored in climate control conditions, which helps tremendously uh, or not. But these mini DVs have issues, digital ace. All the damn dust and dirt on people's tapes. Um, yeah, this one's not even coming up with anything. And no one's dealing with the problems, you know. This is, uh, God, look, Christmas Day 2005, you know. So it's important. You can't just be like, oh, well. Uh, you got to go through the steps here to make sure this stuff is, uh, you know, everything's being done. But getting back to tape baking. Tape baking, you heat them up, it extracts moisture, kills bacteria. Also, re-glues the tape binder, resets it. So there's less magnetic oxide just gangling around here. Gangling? Is that a word? Um, see, that counters reading. Oh, bugger this thing. Look, it just showed, look. You know, I take these, I take the tapes home. I whack them in the food de dehydrator for about about six hours it doesn't harm it you can stick your hand in the oven it doesn't it's just you know kind of like a a phoenix summer's day um but yeah these tapes have problems so i got videos on the tape baking and all that stuff that one's got a problem and that's christmas day um hmm yeah anyway if you have mini DV and you're going through these problems, trying to do it yourself, good luck. If you would like me to figure out what the heck's going on, gotmemories.com, be straight up honest in the quote form about what's going on. I need to see a picture of all your tapes out of the cases so I can kind of see a visual condition because um, people have left a lot of their stuff in just atrocious conditions. Um, and uh yeah that dictates a lot um but i do have like an assessment fee and then so much per tape depending on you know whatever but i do not charge for things i can't recover as any company should be doing but unfortunately people are paying you know two thousand bucks for their entire 40-year collection of old media uh sending it off to companies not seeing it again and not being you know obviously they pay it, they, they've paid up front and then they never see their stuff again um, or they get it back, you know, three to six months later with stickers on every single one of the tapes saying, sorry, due to the age and problems with it, we can't get any picture audio. We tried, we put in the time and therefore you do not get a refund. You're shit out of luck. Sorry. So this is why 2025 when I'm making this video, you have to hand this stuff over to a professional. Sole proprietors, companies with tons of reviews, 
Google Maps, you know, YouTube, uh, or when you get them on the phone, they know what they're doing, that they're, they're asking you the questions. Where have they been? How old are they? What problems have you come up with? Have you played them recently? You know, all this, you know, 10, 15, $20 a tape crap. It's all trash, all trash transfers. They're not doing anything for the money. Um, so you got to understand, you know, your stuff's from 1990. That's 35, three and a half decades old on tape that was meant to last 20, 25 years max in perfect conditions. Even less if they're certain cheap brand blue light specials because people bought cheap tapes, then they didn't store them right. They dropped their camera. Their camera was in humidity, heat, moisture, grossness. And here we are all these years later and people are just handing them over and spending a thousand bucks with some faceless company and then going, oh no, they've lost my stuff. Or, oh no, they've all gone bad. Or, oh no, now there's drama. 800 number, press one for this. No one responds to your calls. No one responds to emails, giving you the runaround. I hear it at least eight times a week, I get phone calls and I go, do you realize that they're a company, the, the, your exact story has been repeated about 78 times with one star reviews with this company. I didn't think to check reviews. Yeah, you just sent off the only copy of home movies to the thing that you would run back into your burning house on fire to grab. Screw everything else, you're gonna get the box of memories out. And you just handed them over to the lowest bidder and you're surprised that you've got either crap back or they've lost all your stuff. As I say over and over again, you might have one chance to make the right or the wrong decision with this type of purchase. Because it happens every day. People don't see their stuff again. And they get pay it front, ship a box off, Sweet, they just made two grand for throwing all stuff in the trash. I don't know what they do with it. But anyway, sorry to be looking away here because I'm trying to figure out some of these files. Again, this is another thing right here. All the file compilations, assembling all of the data from ingesting all of the content uh, and then assembling the files, putting all of the date ranges on there, organizing it dropping it to a USB drive, uploading it to Dropbox, then all of the administration, the phone calls, the emails, the shipping, the this, the that, is a lot to this. And it's a lot of responsibility. You're, you're entrusting your entire life history over to somebody you've never met before. And, uh, you know, I just cannot, I scream from the mountaintops. Phoenicians, people in the Phoenix area are the worst offenders because there's a few transfer companies here and they're just picking up the phone, just like in most major cities. How much? What? Click. How much? Oh, oh, getting cheaper. Getting cheaper. Bingo! 50 cents a tape. Woohoo! Yay! And then oh, six weeks later, they won't return my phone calls. <gasps> Two months later, the police have been called. Oh no, I'm telling true stories here. It's in Google um, reviews for a local company here. You can find them. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, and then, oh, and then they're calling me. I'm like, yeah, I think you called me actually, didn't you? Yeah, I uh, told you. Whew. This blows my mind every day. You're not buying a pair of shoes. You're not resoling you know, some laces or a button on your shirt at the dry cleaners. This is the only copy of priceless, precious family memories. If you care about it, you hand it to somebody that cares. If you don't care about it, save the money, throw it in the trash, declutter, purge, get rid of everything. You, you've never watched this stuff before. Will really anyone care? If you don't care, just... Throw it in the truck, get rid of it, burn it, throw it away and take the thousand dollars you're about to blow and buy yourself a nice weekend away somewhere at the beach with a nice steak dinner with, you know, a significant other maybe. I don't know. Just spend the money wisely on doing something other than wasting it on this type of stuff that no one's going to care about. But if you do care, then you've got to choose wisely. Isn't that right, Winston? Yeah. Anyway, all right, that's enough for me, round 10. If you'd like to get a quote, gotmemories.com. If you're in Phoenix, I am by appointment for drop-offs. All right, bye.